Hey, what's going on, man? It's Big Grime, and I want to talk about should you tag your beats. Now, what I mean by tag is, you know, when you hear a beat and, um, you know, you hear something saying their name, you know, or somebody saying, oh, this is Big Grime on the track. And there's different ways you could do it, and people do it for different reasons. Um, number one reason um, a lot of people use tags are because they don't want somebody stealing a beat so you upload a beat on the internet and if it doesn't have anything saying you know so and so made the beat somebody could steal that track and resell it to somebody else or they could steal the track and make a song off of it and then nobody would never know who really made the track I mean the person who sung over it could say he made the track then there's another reason why you should tag your stuff is um so just that people know who made the track not really to keep anybody from stealing it per se but it's to just you know maybe at the beginning of the of the beat you can say so and so made the beat and if a person make a song to it whether they stole it or pay for it then people who hear the song will know who made the beat now that's another way you can look at this Number one, the average everyday person could care less who made the beat. They might hear that, but really they they heard it but they didn't listen. They don't care who made the beat. They want to hear the song. So your average everyday people, they're not going to care who made the beat. Now, it's really for other artists, other producers who do listen to music differently than the average everyday person. Because, you know, we listen to music you know, like when I listen to the music, I listen to the instruments. I'm really listening to details that most people don't care about. So, yeah, a tag like that, I would hear it and I would, I would know, okay, so and so made that track. But is it an absolute must that you tag your beats? No. Um, I know just dealing with you know some industry people, they don't like tags on the beats on the beat, especially if it's like you know every eight bars. Like some you know, producers put tags on their beats every eight bars, and it becomes annoying. When I deal with real artists, artists who really want to pay, who's really making moves, who's really trying to do this, you know, when you're playing a beat for them, they don't want to hear your tag. Or if I send them a beat, they don't want to hear a tag every eight bars. They're not going to steal my track. They're looking to buy. These are buyers. People that's going to steal, they're going to try to steal it anyway. I mean, I know artists who would loop different sections of a beat just to make it a full beat. I mean, it's almost impossible to keep people from stealing it if they really want to get it. So, you know, I would say there's nothing wrong with tagging. I wouldn't do it every eight bars. And maybe at the beginning of the beat, just to say, you know, so-and-so made the beat. But I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's an absolute must that you tag your beats. And um, that's just my opinion. But you can leave your opinion in the comments. Maybe you... Know something I don't know. So you can comment, let me know what you think. You know, should you tag your beats? Hmm.